In Indiana, basketball is king. High school, college, or NBA, people will watch, and the Pacers are no exception to that. The Pacers fandom is loyal, but has not seen the joys of championship since 1973 and have faced much disappointment in the past few years. We interviewed Pacers fans to see their personal experiences with Indiana's favorite basketball team. 1999-2000 NBA Finals against the Lakers. May he rest in peace, but I cannot stand Kobe Bryant and I will never forgive him for the way that he acted in the NBA Finals. We should have won game six. We got hosed by the referees because they called over the back on Dale Davis, which was a lie, cap. And in addition to that, not only that, Glenn Rice, who was a great free throw shooter, knocks down two free throws. We're down three. Instead of Dale Davis getting the ball, we win game six. Instead, we lose it. That's the ball game. Mr. Harrison thinks he has the answer to how the Pacers can become a good basketball team again. Well, first of all, we got to get Karis LeVert back and we got to get TJ Warren back. We've had some trouble scoring. Um, those guys are really going to give us a shot in the arm. And I'm telling you right now, the Pacers could be dangerous if everybody else stays healthy. We asked Mr. Harrison who his favorite Pacers player of all time was. Reggie Miller, baby. That's my boy. He's my favorite athlete of all time. Tiger Woods is number two. Reggie, man, just every single time he brought it. That's my boy. Number 31 is my favorite number because of him. God, I love that guy. He would talk so much smack and he would, on, on days he was on fire, he would take the guns and put them back in the holster. And I was like, yeah. We ask Mr. Harrison, what is his favorite memory as a Pacers fan? My dad and I went to um, a Pacers Knicks game at um, Market Square Arena. And Canseco Fieldhouse, or Bank Baker's Life Fieldhouse now, is one of the most beautiful buildings that you could go into. But Market Square Arena was a dump. And, but it was so loud. And when you, pull it, and when you went there, you had to plug your ears because the crowd was crazy. And we were playing the Knicks and the Pacers were down by like 12 in the fourth quarter, sent it to overtime. And Reggie Miller went up and dunked two-handed on Patrick Ewing in the overtime. And the Pacers ended up winning the game. It was so awesome, so loud. It was great. We asked Mr. Harrison what his favorite memory at Bankers Life Fieldhouse was. I haven't gone to many playoff games. Um, I don't know, you probably know I've been working on my doctorate, so I haven't gone to many Pacers games and then COVID's been here. But when I took my family to, to Banker's Life, just my son was like, wow, you know, NBA. And uh, they were playing the 76ers and we won because Joel Embiid, who's a complete and total, someone I don't like. Um, he didn't play that night and we beat the Sixers by like 30 and he was just loving it. It was great. So my favorite memory is with my family when we all go there together. We interviewed Dominic Smith and he did not hesitate to tell us his most painful memory as a Pacers fan. Uh, Oladipo injury, making him super suck. Dominic thinks he has the answers to the Pacers recent losing streak and how they can make the playoffs. Uh, we need to get healthy and maybe sign someone for depth and free agency. We asked Dominic who his favorite player of all time was. Reggie Miller, because he's the greatest three-point shooter of all time. What about Steph Curry? Maybe a length, but not overall. What about Ray Allen? He's just overrated. We asked Dominic why he was a Pacers fan. Because I'm from Indiana. So yeah, have to. I'm not dumb.